Good evening. Welcome to Jeevan's News at 8. I am Delphi. First look at the top stories of the day. Varapura custody murder. Police goof up on street with arrest. Internal organs were completely damaged to say's medical report. Criticism against Southern Vinay's ministry meet. Center became a barrier in accumulation of wealth says Pinarayi. Task force to give guidance to Kerala bank begins a burden to state. Required 9 crore per annum to salary of members. Patur case, Lokayita order to take over 4.3 lands should inform the Lokayita after taking over the land. Commonwealth game, 11 goal for India, Mohamed Anas made national record in 400 meters. Now the news in detail. The 10th accused in the case, which an, a man committed suicide after a gang attacked his house at Varapura Friday, died in City Hospital on Monday evening. The State Human Commission has asked the DGP to conduct a SP level inquiry and submit a detailed report after the family of Srijit Kachari. The 10th accused in the case in which a man committed suicide after a gang attacked his house at Varapura on Friday, died in a City Hospital on Monday evening. The State Human Rights Commission has asked the DGP to conduct an SP-level inquiry and submit a detailed report after the family of Srijit SR alleged custodial torture. <laughs> We suspect it to be a case of custodial torture leading to death. I have spoken to the doctors and family members and I believe that the injury was caused when he was in custody. I have instructed the DJP for an SP level probe and sought a detailed report. Also, Varapura sub-inspector GS Deepak has asked to be personally present in the next hearing on April 23rd, said Mohandas. The BJP members were picketed the roads, ganged up and beaten up the young man. It was also reported that even some bus passengers got beaten up. There is also a big traffic jam in the area as the vehicles are being blocked here. There are also complaints that the protesters are misbehaving with women and female students and that there aren't enough policemen in the area to control the situation. The protesters under the leadership of BJP also held a march against Varapura police station on Tuesday morning. Also by 10 am another march was also taken against the police under the leadership of Congress. An atmosphere of clash is prevailing in the area since morning. <laughs> Crime branch IG S. Rigid will lead the SIT. Earlier it was reported that Ernakulam Range IG will probe the complaint on custodial death. South Zone ADGP Anil Khan will supervise the probe team headed by Crime Branch IG S. Rigid. Srijit, son of Ramakrishnan at Devasam Padam in Varapura, for allegedly attacking a house during a dispute in connection with a temple festival at Devasam Padam. Later, Srijit died in hospital while under police custody, relieved by his wife and mother. Police arrested Srijit and his brother on Saturday night. News Desk, Jeevan. Days after a youth died in police custody, it has been revealed that the cop had detained the wrong Srijit. The police had taken Srijit and a set of people into custody after a 55-year-old man, Vasudev, committed suicide following an attack on his house in Varapura. Vinish, the son of deceased, has said that another Srijit had created a ruckus inside his house. Srijit 26 on Monday at hospital in Kochi where he had been admitted to the gastroenterol department after allegedly suffering damage to his internal organs. The incident had triggered widespread protest and dawn to discuss 
called in Parul Taluk was observed on Monday. A man who was taking his infant to hospital was brutally assaulted by the protesters. The Kerala State Human Rights Commission acting chairman P. Mohandas had earlier visited Srijit, who had been put on ventilator after an emergency surgery. Taking serious note of the incident, the commission directed the sub-inspector of police station in the Varapura town to appear before it on April 23rd. It's also directed the police to file a report after conducting an inquiry by the officer in the rank of superintendent of police into the incident. News desk, Jeevan. Special investigation team will prop the Varapura Srijit custodial murder case, says DGP Loknath Bahra. There is no need of prediction and the investigative officers, he added. So I will be very sympathetic to that statement. That's why I am SIT. Form to you. About the SPO, about the IG, I mean, Mari, I mean, we will not actually prejudice a lakenda. So I'll form a team now and ask them to investigate this case very, very minutely and properly. I will give this investigation to the people who are immaculate track record. Forensic expert Dr. B. Umadatan says, though, speculation will not lead anywhere. Preliminary symptoms like such as bleeding caused by the abdominal injury in stage as a medical report indicate he had been tortured. It would either be caused by the elect physical torture and the internal bleeding that followed or could be the shock of the operation. When anesthesia is given before a surgery, there is a chance of the patient's body going into shock. When Srijit was admitted to the hospital, he had complained about severe abdominal pain, difficulty to urinate and vomiting. Speculations will lead us nowhere with regard to the symptoms, as they could mean innumerable things. If a proper autopsy is not done, it would lead to wrongful conclusions and diversion of the investigation, doctors said. Srijit had been taken to a private hospital in the city from Ernakulam Medical College on Sunday evening, Srijit underwent an emergency abdominal surgery here. However, he succumbed to his injuries on Monday. News Desk, Jeevan. With the Thiruvananthapuram District Cooperative Bank turned out be the only one among the 14 district cooperative banks to incur laws in the last fiscal. The State Cooperative Department has decided to set up a special team to probe into the financial mismanagement by them. <laughs> Preliminary assessment has already pointed out that the bank suffered losses as it is used to flout norms and disburse loans to even bogus primary cooperative societies during the tenure of the previous administrative committee. A team headed by the Registrar of Cooperative Societies and the Audit Director will examine all accounts and transactions made from the beginning of previous administration's tenure till March 31, 2018. The Kerala Bank is expected to become a reality this fiscal itself, Surendran said. The only requisite remaining was the RBI's approval for amalgamation and the government was expecting to receive it before March 31, 2018. There are no hitches and the RBI has taken a very positive approach towards the proposed Kerala Bank KSCB's operating profit rises to Rs 148 crore. Jeevan News, Tiruvananthapuram The Logo Yukta has ordered the Revenue Department to take over 4.3 land of encroachment land at the Patur. Earlier, the government had taken over 12 cent of land here. The Logayikta has ordered the district collector to inform them after taking over the land and that order was a general public. The case regarding this says that the government had lost 12.75 cents of the land in Patur by reinstalling the sewage pipeline of the water authority at the different parts of in order to help a private builder. The complaint was also stated that the private builder architect relators Private Limited had built a flat part of by encroaching 16.5 cent of the government land there. It says that the company had encroached the land through which sewaging the pipeline of the water authority passes. This was followed by the pipeline being reinstalled in the government's own land nearby with the help of government. Social activist Joy Kaitharam petitioned against this. The Logayukta followed with the later appointment of the Logayukta Advocates Commissions. Amicus Kuri and also then Vigilance 
ADGP Jacob Thomas for the probe on the same. Though the builders rejected allegation of the encroachment, they finally agreed that they have encroached on 12 cent of the land after the report were against them. The High Court had earlier rejected the case registered by the vigilance against the people, including former Chief Minister Uman Chandi. Also, the Arctic Private Limited have informed that they would approach the High Court against the court order. News Desk, Jeevan. The police have arrested Salih bin Jalal Aga Ali Bai in connection with the murder of former radio jockey and folk song artist Rajesh Kumar Aga Rasikan Rajesh. <coughs> Salih Jalal who was arrested in Qatar, was sent to Kerala in a jet airways plane and the state police made his arrest at the airport here. He is suspected to be the leader of the quotation gang and the murder here on the other day. The police have also filed a case against Alapura native Apuni and Saleh both and Qatar Abdul Sata. The police had arrested Kundra native Swati Santosh Aka Spadigam on Monday in connection with the case. With the number of the arrested made in connection with the case has become full. The police says that Santosh was one of the conspirators behind the murder. They have said that it was a Santosh who accompanied the main accused Ali Bai and Apuni, helped them in observing Raji's studio in Madavur and the surrounding area. The police also said it was the Santosh who provided the sword who had Raji Shen helped the accused escape to Bangalore. He later escaped to Chennai with Yasin, who was catched earlier. SI Pradeep Kumar has said that Sandosh has worked with many quotation team before and many criminal cases registered against him Kundra and Anjulamuri station. The police had earlier arrested Sanu and Yasin in connection with the case. News Desk, Jeevan. Finance ministers of the southern state met at Thiruvananthapuram on Tuesday at the conference converted by the Kerala to discuss the concern and views of the terms of reference of the 15th Finance Commission. <coughs> the centre should provide freedom to the 15th Finance Commission to hear the state. I said, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu and Puducherry has confirmed participation in the conference, which would be inaugurated by the Kerala Chief Minister Pinarayi Vijayan. And he mentioned his opinion regarding the 15th Finance Commission. The question of resources by the 15th Finance Commission assumes further significance in the current environment in which the finances of states have received a double blow in form of demonetization and GST. Kerala Finance Minister T.M. Thomas Isaac said that changes in the TOR of the 15th Finance Commission that would adversely affect the southern state has not become a debate in the country. The objective of the conference was to be highlight the issue and make it an, a national agenda for the debate, Isaac said. Slamming the center, he said the TOR was against the federal cooperative structure of the country. We will not allow to destroy the federal cooperative structure of the nation, he added. Jeeva News, Thiruvanandapuram the Supreme Court has set aside the Kerala High Court verdict and resorted the interfaith marriage of Hadia and Safin Jahan, saying the former had absolute autonomy over her person. Observing that the faith of a person was intrinsic to a person's meaningful existence, the top court said that choosing a faith is the substratum of individuality and saying it. The right of choice becomes a shadow. A bench of Chief Justice Deepak Mishra and Justice M.K. Khanvilkar and D.Y. Chandrachod, which gave two separate but concerning verdict that the expression of choice in accord with law is acceptance of individual identity. Faith of a person is intrinsic to his, her meaningful existence. To have the freedom of faith is essential to his, her autonomy and it strengthens the core norms of the constitution, the bench said. In detail, Verdict which was uploaded on the Apex Court's website on Monday. The Apex Court had on March 8 set aside the High Court verdict which had held as Naland void the marriage between Jahan and Hadia, who had appeared before the court and had categorically stated that she had converted to Islam and married him on her own free will. Referring to Hadiyah's father contentions, the top court said he may feel there was enormous transgression of his right to protect the interest of his daughter, but his viewpoint cannot be allowed to curtail her fundamental rights. Deprivation of that freedom, which is ingrained in choice of the plea of faith, is impermissible, it said. 
The bench said that non-acceptance of Hadia's choice would simply mean creating discomfort of the constitutional right by our constitutional court which is meant to be the protector of fundamental rights. The Apex Court clarified that the National Investigation Agency, which was earlier asked by the court to probe into the matter, might exercise its authority in accordance with the law, but validity of the marriage shall not form the subject matter of the probe. National Desk, Jeevan. The centre has diluted the rules notified last year on the sale of livestock by removing the slatter word. It has also watered down the clauses on the preventing brutality and the rules of the markets and border. The Prevention of Cruelty to Animals and Regulation of Livestock Markets Rule 2017 had kicked up a political storm after it banned sale of cattle for slaughter in animal markets. The 2017 rules notified on May 23, 2017 have been replaced with draft rules called Prevention of Cruelty to Animals in Animal Market Rules 2018. The previous rules had notified a ban on sale of Cattle for slaughter, the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change has now removed the word slaughter from the draft rules. The 2018 rules condensed to half the original length govern welfare of animals in the markets. The 2017 rules on restriction on sale of cattle clearly stated that no person would bring an animal to the market for slaughter. The only line that has been retained from this clause is no unfit animal or young animal shall be sold in an animal market. Another clause which required a certification that the animal on sale was not for slaughter too has been dropped. The new rules provide for constitution of prevention of cruelty to animals committee which would certify new animal markets, maintain record of animal sales and ensure good living condition in markets. Critics of the earlier notification had alleged that the rules meddled with people's food choices with government of Kerala. Meghalaya and West Bengal supporting the charge the Main reason for the 2017 rule were meant to end the illegal trade of animals across international borders and interstate borders for slaughter. Around the time of Gadimai festival, a sacrificial ceremony held in Nepal saw illegal transport of animals from India. The 2017 rules had additional precaution to be taken regarding animal markets in border area which banned animal markets within 25 kilometers from any state border or 50 kilometers from international border. However, the new rules have diluted the provision of make only transport of animals across the border an offense. National Desk, Jeevan. Two Indian Army Javans were killed after Pakistan violated unprovoked case fine along the line of control in Jammu and Kashmir's Sundarban sector. The Pakistani army on Monday initiated an unprovoked and indiscriminate firing on small arms, automatics and motors from 5.15 p.m. The Indian army retaliated strongly and effectively to the firing from the other side of the border. However, in an exchange of the fire, rifleman Vinod Singh and rifleman Jackie Sharma were grievously injured and succumbed to the injuries. Vinod Singh, aged 24 years, belonged to the village Dhanpur, Jorian district, Aknur, Jammu and Kashmir, and is survived by his father Ajit Singh. Jackie Sharma, aged 30 years, belonged to village Sanhel, Hirang, district Jammu and Kashmir and is survived by his wife Rajni Devi. National Desk, Jeevan. A major contract for the procurement of 1.86 lakh bulletproof jacket has been signed after the successful conduct of field evaluation trials. The Army in a statement said, a major contract through capital procurement route for the procurement of 18,61,038 bulletproof jackets have been signed. The impending requirement of the Indian Navy for the effective BJPs has been met after successful contact with straight field evaluation trial. The contract bulletproof jacket have the state-of-the-art specification with added the protection level, the Army said. 
These BJPs have modular power thereby providing immense protection and the flexibility to soldiers operating in the field. Operational situation ranging from the long distance throttling to high risk room intervention scenarios. The new BJPs will provide 360 degree protection from the attackers to the soldiers in compact, including the largest hard steel core bullet, the army said. The case was proceeded under the Buy Indian category for the defend procurement procedures. The provision of these new BJPs was done by Indian manufacturers who were successful in trials. This has given by the impetus of the Make in India initiative of the government. The army said the concern of BJPs for the many army have been raised the highest level and missed the security situation along the borders and the counter terrorist areas. Meanwhile, SMPP Private Limited, the firm which got the contract, said the project is worth rupees 639 crore. SMPP specializes the bulletproof solution has already supplied bulletproof product to the Air Force, Naval Commando, and the preliminary forces. National Desk, Jeevan. At least 30 people, including 27 school children, were killed after a private bus skidded off the road and drove down the deep into the jot near. Nurpur area in Kankara district in Himachal Pradesh on Monday. Twelve injury passengers were rushed to the hospital are in critical condition. The bus rolled into a 200 feet deep gorge killing 27 school children, two teachers and the driver said Santosh Patyal, a senior local police official. My first priority was to save lives. We will now investigate the reasons for the accident, he said. Most of the students were in the age of 10 to 12 years. Local villagers had begun rescue operation even before officials could reach the spot. Eyewitnesses said around 45 students of Vazi Ram Singh Patania Memorial's public school were returning home when the bus skid off road and fell into 100 feet deep gorge. Teams of local administration and the National Disaster Response Force were involved in the rescue and faced a tough time in pulling out the victims from the mangled bus. Prima facie negligent driving and overspeeding are the main reasons for the accident, an official said. Chief Minister Jairam Thakur, Governor Acharya Devarath and Union Health Minister J.P. Nadda condoled the death. A magistral inquiry has been ordered. National Desk, Jeevan. The Uttar Pradesh police on Tuesday arrested the brother of Bharati Janata Party lawmaker in connection with the death of rape victim's father on Monday. The father was allegedly attacked by the lawmaker's brother and his asset. Police spokesperson Rahul Srivastava said a special team led by Assistant Superintendent of Police Dinesh Singh arrested Atul Singh Sengar, the brother of Kuldeep Singh Sengar of Unnao's Bangar Mao constituency from his hideout in the adjoining Unnao district. Srivastava said Atul Singh Sengar was arrested for attacking the 18-year-old woman's father on April 3rd that caused his death later. He said the charges of voluntarily causing hurt, culpable homicide and criminal intimidation have been slapped against the MLA's brother. He added that the state's Director General of Police, O.P. Singh, had ordered his arrest immediately after an analysis of the fact. The father of the woman allegedly raped by Kuldeep Singh Singar died on Monday, hours after he collapsed in prison where he had been detained after being assaulted by men purportedly connected to the MLA. The state government announced a magistral investigation after the alleged rape victim said her father had been murdered in prison. She had on Sunday attempted suicide in front of Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath's residence, alleging inaction on the part of police in filing a case against the BJP member. He was killed at the behest of the BJP MLA inside the jail. The women told reporters on Monday, we were getting threats, they killed my father. Kuldeep Singh Sengar and his aides were accused of rape by the woman last year, but he has not been formally named by police in the rape case. Sengar rejected the charges as a conspiracy by opponents and said the complaint belonged to the low class even as six policemen were suspended and Aditya assured that the guilty will not be spared. National Desk, Jeevan. The fifth 
match of IPL 2018 seen Chennai Super Kings and Kolkata Knight Riders come up against each other. Both the teams are riding high on the victory after winning their respective seasons openers. Before we wind up, headlines once again. Vadapura custody murder. Police go up with Srijit arrest. Internal organs were completely damaged, says medical report. Criticism against center at Southern Finance Ministry meet. Center vacancy barrier in accumulation of well says Pinarai. Task force to give guidance to Kerala Bank becomes a barrier to state required 9 crore per annum to salary of members. Patur case, Lokaita order to take over 4.3 cent of land should inform Lokaita after taking over the land. Commonwealth Games, 11 gold for India, Mohammed Anand's made national record in 400 meters. That's all for the today's English news. Thank you for watching and good night.